Okay, let's look at Lesson 8 homework. We're looking at 1A. 1A says 67,000 to the nearest 10,000. The first thing I want to ask is how many thousands do I have in 67,000? Or how many, I'm sorry, how many 10,000s do I have? Not thousands, but 10. As you can see in a 10,000s place, I have 6. So 6 10 thousands, let me write that over here so you can see, 6 10 thousands is equal to 60 thousand because what we're looking at is 6 times 10 thousand is 60 thousand. So I write that for my lower endpoint, 60 thousand. Previously, I asked when we was rounding numbers to the nearest thousand. I asked if I add a thousand more to a number, what will my number be? So in this case, since we are rounding numbers to the nearest ten thousand, I will ask that question based on ten thousand. I will say if I add ten thousand to sixty thousand, what will my number be? So ten thousand plus sixty thousand is seventy thousand. So that will become my upper endpoint. So now my midpoint would be half of, I'll write a little note over here, it would be half of 10,000. And what's half of 10,000? It will be 5,000. So what I would do is write then in my midpoint 5,000. Alright, so since I'm counting up, I'm going 60,000 and I will say 65,000. So I'm counting up 60,000. My midpoint would be 65,000 and then my upper end point would be 70,000. So I ask the question now, is 67,000 greater than 65? <laughs> sorry, 67,000 greater than 65,000 or less than 65,000? We can look at this 7 right here and say and see actually that that number is greater in the thousands. So 67,000 is greater than 65,000. So where will, will I put that on a, a vertical number line? I will put that slightly above. It's 2,000 or yeah, 2,000 more. So I'll put 67,000 here, which shows that 67,000 is closer to 70,000. So 67,000 to the nearest 10,000 will be 70,000, which is to the nearest 10,000. All right, let's look at lesson eight homework 1B this time. We're looking at the number 51,988 rounded to the nearest 10,000. All right, as we can see, we have five in the 10,000s place. So let me ask myself a question. How many 10,000s do I have in 51,988? As you can see, I have five. So like we did earlier, we'll say five times 10,000s since this is in the 10,000s place and we have 5. So 5 times 10,000 would be 50,000. So I'll write that as my lower end point which is 50,000. So next I ask this question if I add 10,000 to 50,000 what will be my number for the upper end point? So 50 times 10,000 is 60,000. So like we did earlier, we took half of 10,000. Half of 10,000 will be 5,000. So that would be part of my midpoint now. This is one strategy you can use. This is just good practice. So I have 5,000. Since I'm counting it up, I put a 5 here. So 50,000 is my lower end point, 55,000 is my midpoint, and 60,000 is my upper end point. So now I look at my number, 51,000 
9,988 and ask myself is 51,988 closer to 50,000 or 60,000? As you can see that is closer to 50,000 or else I can ask the question I asked in my earlier problems I can say is 51,000 greater than 55,000 or less as we can see this is less looking at my thousands place I have 51 here and 55 here and 51,988 is close to 50,000 so I will put that on my vertical number line showing that it's close to 50,000 so as we can see now that 51,988 is closer to 50,000 than it is to 60,000 so I'll write that now 51,988 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 50,000 Now let's look at lesson 8 to A. In this problem, we're going to round to the nearest 100,000. We have 867,000 rounded to the nearest 100,000. So in this number, we're going to look at 8 in the 100,000th place. And ask the same question I asked in the nearest 1,000 and the nearest 10,000. How many 800,000s do I have? Since I have 8, that would be 8. 100,000. So I'll place that in my lower endpoint, 800,000. So now I ask myself, if I add 100,000 to 800,000, what will my number be? 800,000 plus 100,000 would be 900,000. Now I need to find my midpoint, like I did with 1,000 and 10,000 I need to take half of that number for my midpoint because this is my halfway number so if I take a hundred thousand and I take half of that I ask the question what's half of a hundred thousand that would be fifty thousand so I write that in my for my part of this is my midpoint so 50,000, like I did previously, I'm counting up 800,000, counting up, this would be 8. So as you can see, I'm keeping the 8 and put that 8 with my 50,000 and now I have 850,000. And the upper end point would be 900,000. So now I ask the question, is 867,000 greater than my midpoint which is 850,000 or less as you can see the 10,000 and 1,000 have 67,000 compared to 50,000 so this number is greater so I will put that number somewhere in here on my vertical number line and I would write 867,000 which is greater and as you can see because it's greater than this midpoint it will be closer to 900,000, which means I am rounding up. So I can read it this way 867,000 rounded to the nearest 100,000 is 900,000, which means I am rounding up. Now let's look at homework lesson 8 to B this time. We're, continue, we're going to continue to round to 100,000. Here we have a new number which is 767,074. And we're going to round it to the nearest 100. So we're going to look at the hundreds place which is 7. So on this number we have 700,000. So I can write that on the side like I did previously so you can see. 700,000. So that would be my lower end point, 700,000. So if I add 100,000 more to this, I will have 800,000. Now if you need to see all the steps, you can look at, I did uh, 2A the same way. It's the same procedure. So you can check your work as I work along with you. So I added 100,000 to 700,000. 
So at this point, I want to take half of 100,000. Like we did previously, we found out that half of 100,000 is 50,000. So this is part of my midpoint now. I want to keep the 7 because I'm counting up to 100,000. So I just put my 7 here, which would make it 750,000, which makes that my midpoint. So I go to my number, then I went around to the nearest 100,000 and I asked the question, is this number 767,074 greater than my midpoint, which is 750 or less? I can look at my 10,000s and I can see the 6 is greater than the 10,000 here in my midpoint. So this number is greater. So I will put that number slightly above my midpoint. And as you can see, because it's greater, now this makes this number closer to 800,000, which means I am rounding up. So I can read it this way now. 767,074 rounded to the nearest 100,000 is 800,000. So we are rounding up. Now let's look at Lesson 8, 1C. Here we have 105,159, and we want to round this number to the nearest 10,000. So we want to underline the number that's in the 10,000s place, which is 0. So this tells me that I have 0 10,000s. So what should I do with that? What number should I use? So since it's zero ten thousands, what I'm going to do is write this number in the lowest value in the hundred thousands. So this number would be one hundred thousand, which shows I have zero ten thousand. So this number now will become my lower endpoint. So I write one hundred thousand here. So now notice it's saying I need to find the number that is the nearest 10,000s place. So, since I'm dealing with 10,000, I want to add 10,000 to this number. So if I add 10,000, I can do it here, 10,000 plus 100,000 would give me 110,000, which is my upper endpoint. So from here, I want to take half of 10,000. Half of 10,000 is 5,000. So that will be part of my midpoint. So I write 5,000 here. So since I am counting up, I want to say 100,000. What would be next? That would be 105,000, which is half way midpoint as I count up to 110,000. So half of 10,000 is 5,000. As I count up to 110,000, my number now would be 105,000, which is my midpoint. So from here, I want to ask the question, is 105,159 greater than 105,000 or less? As we can see, we have uh, my thousands is the same as this, my 10,000 is the same, and my 100,000 is the same. But what's different is this number, my hundreds place. So this number is greater because I have more hundreds than I do here, which is zero. So I will put this number slightly above it as much as I can, above 105,000. So from here, we can see that this number is greater than my midpoint, which means that this number would be closer to 110,000 compared to 100,000. So I can read it this way, 105,159 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 110,000. So we're rounding up. Okay, let's look at lesson 8 to C. We're going to round 629,999 to the nearest hundred thousand. So we want to look at the number in the hundred thousands and we have six. So we ask the question, how many hundred thousands are in 629,999? And we have six. So that number is six 
hundred thousand. Again, that's like saying six times one hundred thousand because we have six in the hundred thousands place. So now that will become my lower end point, six hundred thousand. Okay, what we need to do now is add a hundred thousand to this to find my upper end point. So a hundred thousand plus six hundred thousand is seven hundred thousand. So like we've been doing previously, we want to find out what's half of 100,000. That would be 50,000. That would be part of my midpoint. So since I'm counting up like we did previously, I'm going to bring my six back into this because I'm counting up to my upper end point, which is 600,000. Half of that is 650,000 to 700,000. So I'll go back to my number like we've been doing previously and ask the question, is 629,999 greater than my midpoint, which is 650 or less? As we can see, 50 is greater than the 29 here. So I'm going to look at the thousands and the ten thousands place. And as we can see, this number is less. So we'll write that number somewhere close to 600,000. So 629,999. As we can see, this number is closer to 600,000. So we're going to round down. So I can go back to my number, 629,999 rounded to the nearest 100,000 is 600,000, which we are rounding down.